Yes, ma'am. Do what now? Is uh is my driver license expended?
dresses, hats, anything, just wash your hands. That's pretty great. But you're tuning in to the Drop and Go Dumpster channel, guys. I am Brandon, and I have the prettiest lime green dumpsters in Eastern Sea. There's been some people trying to take that from me, though. There's been a lot of new dumpster companies come in in the last three months. A lot of new dumpster companies. I don't know how they're getting all their money to open up these dumpster companies. Guys, my stuff's almost paid for. So there's no way that I'm going to shut down and go anywhere. Because I've worked my booty off to pay for this crap. I will probably buy some more dumpsters and get a little bit in debt. But all the dumpsters, they pay for themselves. So unless something really bad happens, like I get a really bad review or something really stupid happens, my dumpsters are not going nowhere. Bad reviews can cost you a lot. That's why you have to make everybody happy. And sometimes I make a lot of people happy and sometimes I do not. I mean, I don't try to make nobody mad, but when you fill the dumpster like three feet over top of it and I say something, now you're really gonna piece somebody off. Sorry ahead of time, sorry guys. It's not gonna work. That's why there's a sticker out there that says, do not fill above top of the container. I know you can read that. If I can read that, you can read that. But, it is what it is. So, 2020 review guys um i will say that 2020 is going to be a pretty good year it's already started out super good with a 25 yard um i've had the 25 yard dump probably about three times already this year and it's only the third week of the year so it's really good so it's doing really good uh the 20 yards doing really well the uh, 15 yards are doing uh, pretty good too. Uh, the mini has been out twice this year already. That's really good. And the 12 yards are my slackers. I uh, rented them out to a big company. They took a while to fill them up and then they, they're slow at calling you and telling them to come pick, you, pick them up because they're full. But when they get full, they overfill them and then you're two foot over the freaking top again. And I hate overfill dumpster guys. You gotta, you gotta drive slower on the interstate. You gotta worry about stuff falling out. It's just a big liability. You keep your crap underneath the the rails. We're good. I don't care. Just, you're good. We're fine. A okay. You fill it over top of it. Oh, it's gonna be a bad day. It's gonna be a bad day for you or me. One of them is too. I don't know. Probably me because I'm the one that has to haul it. But 2020, all the dumpsters are doing great. We need to buy some more. The question is, what sizes do I want to buy? I have about two or three of each. So, I would say I probably need more of the 20 and 25 yards. I think I will buy another 20 yard and I will buy another 25 yard. Just because my bigger contractors love the bigger dumpsters. And the bigger contractor people have a lot more money. Smaller dumpsters are for more of the residential commercial or the residential slash small commercial people. And the uh, little six yard is for like garage, house clean out, something really small, tight areas, and driveway safe. Any other dumpster in East Tennessee, I have not seen a driveway safe dumpster. So, for the other guys saying they got driveway safe dumpsters, not so much. Unless it's like perfect placement, perfect unplacement. I don't really see that when you hire somebody. So, it is what it is, guys. Welcome to the 2020 year of Drop and Go Dumpsters. We are going to get bigger and grow. But I'm going to have to work a little bit harder than I did last year. Because last year, guys, I just wasn't, wasn't into it. This year, I'm doing pretty good. been uh, working out, trying to get more motivated, I guess. I have been really, really sore. I've been crying like a little girl. It's been bad. And um, what else have I been doing? Uh, I've been doing a lot of tax honky crap here lately. That's been awful, really awful. But I did get me a new computer and QuickBooks, though I did. My mother is going to teach me how to do everything to, uh, I guess, to keep. That way I don't screw nothing up. She usually does my QuickBooks stuff. 
and I guess it is time for me to grow up and figure it out. Yay me. So guys, if you see me in a crappy mood somewhere, it's probably because I just got done playing on the computer and I hate computer shit. But it is what it is, once again. I'm going to go up towards Clinton Lake City, Tennessee area, and I got this 20 yard dumpster on the back of the truck. That's where I'm going to take it, drop it off, and uh, I'm going to start sending me some bills out. Everybody's getting behind on payments, and uh, they got to pay. Or if they don't pay, you go bankrupt. No, I'm not going to go bankrupt. For the most part, I don't think. Unless I buy like 20 dumpsters, and that ain't going to happen. That's a lot of money. But if you guys want to be a part of the drop and go dumpster team, I think next year we are going to try. I'm not really a big fan on franchises. I really don't want to franchise nothing. I want you to have your own stuff. I want you to to learn off my mistakes and uh, make your own mistakes and learn off that. I want you to kick yourself in the ass and be like, that was a stupid idea. I've had plenty of those. And, uh, Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. So, with you guys learning your own experience, if you if you can hustle, we're about to pass one of our little contractor dumpsters. Guys, look. See over there? There there is Fox Toyota. And uh, up there is our little yellow contractor dumpster. They're building a uh, tractor, tractor supply up there. And uh, we got the contract for the dumpster up there. So I got one of my contractor dumpsters up there right now. My ugly yellow one. I don't know if you guys remember that one or not. But it is ugly. It had some rotten food in it one time. Oh, it was, it was terrible. But that guy is up there sitting there waiting for them to actually get started. Yes, I'm probably losing money for letting that one sit there. But during the work weeks, that thing actually needs to be dumped. I'm going to make a killing. And my plan is to buy another 25 yard and put it up there and let them pay for that 25 yard. Because uh, they're going to dump it a lot. The project's not going to be done until March or April of 2020. So I think I'll be pretty good on dumping. If I dump once a week, twice a week, be great. But I'm going to have to have two up there probably. So I might leave that little yellow contractor dumpster. Keep seeing something behind me. Um, leave a little yellow contractor dumpster there with the new 25 yard. That way I can switch them out back and forth. But I'm going to put all the block and the heavy stuff in the yellow one. That way I don't mess up the green one. If it works well, I don't know if it will or not. We will see. That way I can make me some money off that one. But besides that, guys, that is it with me today. I am, uh, this is my last dumpster today. I did two dumpsters today. Two. Um... I emptied the 25 one from Napa again, and uh, they got it back. They're doing really very well with that guy. And um, I emptied the 20 yard from some people doing a rehab. Now I'm taking it to another contractor guy that has a really crappy driveway. And he said, you're gonna have to lock it full drive back in the driveway. So I'm kind of scared if it has gravel on it or if it's just mud, because it's been totally wet the last two, three days. And uh, there goes my competition guys down the interstate. They want some. They got way too much money than I do, so they don't want any. Uh, they'll probably sell out be a couple billion dollars here in a little while. They'll be pretty rich, I'd say. But um, but besides that, that's about what I'm going to do. I'm going to see what kind of mud hole I get myself stuck in, probably. It's been really bad. Don't put no dumpsters in the grass areas for at least another week or two unless it's frozen solid and you got to get to that when it's frozen solid. so it's warming up in east tennessee it's going to be about 48 right now the sun's actually starting to finally come out um, unless it gets really warm and dries up you're going to be stuck or mess the yard up you're going to it's going to be a very bad uh very bad day so concrete only blacktop concrete gravel sun in that nature no putting the dumpster in the yard to mess everything up. But guys, check out all my other videos. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Don't give me a thumbs down. You got something bad to say, just delete my ass. That'd be way easier than give me a thumbs down. So, I'm not, uh, 
not a supermodel, that way you're going to be like, oh, he's so sexy. That isn't me, guys. I am me. I am Brandon. So sorry ahead of time. Sometimes I say shit that I should not, and sometimes I do stupid stuff. It happens. You guys, check out DroppingGoDumpsters.com or 865-312-2200. If you need anything, call me. Little mini dumpsters are for sale if you still want to buy some. They are expensive. They are not cheap. And I'm going to make me one for the roll-off trailer coming up soon, too. When I get more moolah. Everything involves around moolah. So, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.